So this is the review of 2010 deliveries on time and late. So this is for engineering 3375 for spring of 2019. My name is Wes Neger. I'm a junior and I'm in mechanical engineering technology. So here we have an outline. Basically going to tell you what's going on, the background information. A trend chart has all the deliveries put into one graph. Um, this is a pie chart. It's going to take the month or one month out of the whole year and it's going to show you what is happening on time and late deliveries. The Pareto chart shows the reasons why it's late and then allows them to do cause and effect analysis and a proposed action of how to fix everything. So here's the introduction. The study's over a year and it basically tells you what's going to happen and why there is late deliveries and the reasons for it. So the background, there's five products. It starts in December of 2009 and ends January 1st of 2011. It's based on on time and on late deliveries. And there's five reasons for being late, capacity, broken, tools, etc. So here's the trend chart. May would be the lowest, which is right here. March would be the highest, and those are the percentages. Um, there's not really a trend in this graph. I mean, it kind of goes up down here and then slopes down and comes down, goes back down. The average for on-time deliveries would be 51.3%, and this is out of 1,208 deliveries. And after looking at this, we see May is the lowest. So then our next action would be to look at May by itself in the pie chart. So here's the pie chart. There's 122 deliveries. 51 were on time, 71 were late. So after looking at this, you see the percentages. We see that there's 71 late. And after looking at this, we determine May is the worst month. And the next thing would be to look at is the Pareto graph. So here's the Pareto. Uh, basically, it shows the five reasons late um, out of the 71 deliveries. And broken tools and missing. Uh, parts for the cause of like late deliveries mostly, and that can be seen here. And those cause about 50.7% 50, 50 to be late. So now I'm going to do cause and effect. Uh, basically, look at this graph, and by this graph, I can see or pick out something that I potentially see is going wrong. And for me, I chose sending stuff to wrong places and malfunctions because broken tools and missing parts happen to be the reason why like there's so many late uh, deliveries. So broken tools, machine wasn't running right, snapped a tool, happens. Uh, missing parts, this says people could be stealing it or they're just missed, uh, employees aren't putting it where it's going or something like that. And then a proposed action would be to run test analysis on machines to make sure they're like running better, running at the right speed, not breaking any tools. And then retraining employees on how to uh, make sure the machines are running correctly. And that is it.